What's up guys, I'm back. No sun hat today because today, I don't know if you can hear it, today is gonna be a windy one. We are back in Parker, Arizona. Let's get that uh, title out of the way, this is not funny. If you were following along, the last couple of videos I've been down in California, we did Cast Steak, we did Pudding Stone, we did Silver Lake twice, and everything's been pretty slow, so I got back up in Arizona to enjoy the windy November month. So no one's on the water. I don't see any wakeboard boats because it's too cold for those guys to get in the water. <laughs> so it makes it great for bass fishing. And the wind, some people would stay home from the wind, but in November, I'm gonna say the wind is actually gonna help you. It is 6.43 in the morning. We got a late start, let's get to it. But the only way I can get the bad vibe of fishing in California lakes off my boat, right here, baby. Welcome to Arizona. This is Parker Strip. This is where we party. This is where we fish for smallies and we have a good time. Right here, baby. Oh, it's fucking cold. Ugh. The rundown on the baits today, I haven't been here in like a month and a half-ish, so I don't know what's gonna happen. But I'm gonna start from the top and run my way down through the bottom of the water column. I'm gonna start with the Berkeley Chapo. That's the 120. Work our way down to a jerk bait. This is like a five foot diver. And then I got my puncher rig just in case we want to get in the weeds. And then the good old drop shot and a jig with a craw trailer on it. Start right around this grass line. I have no idea what's going to happen. Right into the sun. Already got hung up. Perfect. Love it. All right, let's see if any smallies miss me. I don't know, boys. Oh, there's a bass jumping out there. Oh, we got one. Oh, yeah. Welcome back to Arizona, baby. We actually catch fish. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not the biggest, but we'll take it. A little largey, that was forecast, and we're on fish. If you guys haven't come out to Arizona, you're missing out, California, it sucks. This is a free boat ramp. I don't have to look for mussels. They don't have to inspect my boat. Free, forecast, and we're on bass. That's how you're supposed to fish. There's a reason why there's no professional bass fishing anymore in California. Skunky is off the boat, baby. Mall largey, but hey, it's a bass. It's getting windy. All this wind is gonna stir up this top water and it's gonna bring the bass out to chase bait. Oh, shit. That didn't break off, did it? Smallmouth are gonna be out towards the middle. Largies are gonna be on the grass, so you're gonna rarely catch a smallmouth chilling right here. Let's see if we can get one to come out and play. What's up guys? Good morning. It is the next day. Uh, yesterday just got too wild. It got to like 30, 35 mile an hour winds. And you're getting hit with like gust of wind. And I uh, felt like I was gonna go in the water. So I called it quits, got a little crazy. Uh, yeah, you throw jerk baits. Jerk bait would go in the air and just get caught by the wind and just turn it into a knuckleball and go straight in the water. And the spinner bait would go where you wanted it to go. And then the wind would just take it and drop it about 30 yards to your right. So uh, we'll try to get back on them and stick a couple. So meet you guys down at the boat ramp. Looks like today is going to be windy too. So 
yeah, we're just gonna stick it out today, do the same old thing. You guys know the deal. We're gonna throw some top bar around right now, and then uh, probably gonna go to uh, spinner bait because that's the only thing that can cut through this wind. And then uh, we'll throw that all day. So <laughs> appreciate you guys sticking with me. Let's head out here and uh, see if we can get stuck. Let's do this thing. Chopo time. What are we doing here? Let's get real. I still look good. Chopo 120. It's probably repetitive, but that's what I'm gonna stick to. I think these. Hooks are starting to get rusty. Alrighty guys, Chopo 120, dead center, why not? Let's see what we got here. Anybody wants to play today? No one. Oh yeah, that wind is ripping. This is gonna be a great day. <laughs> Actually pretty level right now, so that's nice. Still got the 3,000 coots out here. You know, hunting season's around the corner, guys. Come out here and take care of these coots. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, good. Oh, cold out here. Yeah, it is. I uh, really like your kayak. Oh, I appreciate it. How long have you had that? Uh, this is, this one's seven months old. Okay. Yeah. And did you buy it locally around here? Or? No, this one I bought up in Sacramento. Oh, okay. Yeah. Local shops, there's really no good bass fishing in SoCal. So okay. most of these kayaks are up in the Sacramento area. Okay, I didn't know if there was anything around here. I'm from the Seattle area, so. Yeah, most of everybody during winter down here is snowbirds or from yep. Can Canada or up in Seattle somewhere. Exactly. And that's, mm -hmm. uh, we're looking to get one. I mean, kayak wise, I would recommend just spend the money yep. because this one, like, I, I can do this all day and not flip over. And that's what I thought. Yeah, you go and buy a cheap one, you're gonna be butt puckering all day. Yeah. Grabs your arm, rolls her body, gets you on the ground, yeah. puts her mouth around your throat. Just hold you there. She holds there until she gets the command to go further. Wow. Or if you throw both hands up because she has no leverage, She's trained to take you down by the crotch. Oh, very nice. All right, brother. Thanks. Yeah, you got it. Have a good one, huh? Yeah. I'll catch you on the way back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, baby. Probably shouldn't have uh, swung that, but <laughs> little guy. Yeah, I bent the freaking swim bait. Switched over to the grass, went for largemouth. We are not catching big ones. <laughs> but uh, first bass of the day. Only took three hours to do that. You don't swing <laughs> with spinner baits. Kind of straighten that out, and I. Kind of hard to pick up bass out here on the graph because most of it's like eight to ten foot so if you get right on them they'll just take off swimming i've been throwing drop shots and kind of sticking towards the middle and doing my smallmouth thing but haven't figured it out seen a couple bass on the bottom on the graph just chilling i don't know what happened to the smallmouth they just shut off That's a good one. That's a smallie. That's a smallie. Oh yeah. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, there's three of them. Oh yeah, baby. Holy sh! That's a good smallmouth. Yeah, there's four of them. I knew it right out in the middle. I'll show you guys what I'm doing uh, after I get this fish off. Oh, oh, dude. The big ones still exist, huh? That's Arizona fishing right there, boys. That's what I came out here for. Oh, let's get a little weight on her. Oh, very cool. 37 and a half pounds. You think this scale's broken? <laughs> One more time. 352. Big girl right there. That is a nice fish. Big smallie. 
All right guys, I got the drone up. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. See the river? And then you'll get these grass patches like every 50 yards. So I'm throwing on the outside of those grass patches and that's where I'm getting these big smallmouth to pull up. So all this grass right here, this is where all the smallmouth are gonna be. So as I go up and down the river, I'm sticking to these grass lines. See there's nothing on the right side of the river. Let's get this drone back, back to home base. This is where this smallmouth was. So yeah, just a little insight on what I'm doing. Put the drone up to show you guys. I'm looking for this grass and we're just gonna throw in and out of those grass lines with like a swim bait, a spin bait, or anything really, crank bait, you can get in there. On the back side of them, you can throw drop shots because they're hiding behind the grass. But yeah, let's get back to it. Yeah, baby. I was gonna drive right past this place. It's got that feeling in your gut, just throw it right where this grass is. Boom. Largies are kind of small today, but cut another one. It's a good thing I didn't grind his lip too bad, but nice little largie. It's three, two small largies and one gigantic small mouth. Hey, that's sweet. But this is uh, the one I got this morning. You're just down rigging it? And he swallowed the hook down. Holy cow, man. But we get him in here up to, you know, 10 pounds. I've seen him up by the up by the dam, like Havasu Springs. Yeah. Those guys will light him up up there. Yeah, you know where that, uh, where it kind of gets real shallow and kind of rapidy yeah. water? Right in there is good too. Oh, up, up, on, up on the strip? Oh, pay attention to that treble hook. Yeah. Well, good luck. On the droppy, small baby. I knew I felt a little knock. <laughs> Still fun. These little ones kind of fight better than some of those largemouth. This must be a little section. <laughs> Dude. Hey, baby. Another little dude. It's probably a little section right here. Fun. I like it. Leave the drag a little loose, make it a little fun. <laughs> SD card full. That's not good. That means that one's about to go too. SD card full. You got a bass on, man. Well, that's a good one. That's a giddy. Going a little nutty. Nutty. Oh yeah. Maybe not. There's a little crazy little one. A little crazy little one. One pounder central over here. The one pounder alley right here. <laughs> Front GoPro, I'm at the change cards or something. Got no more storage. I mean, I run that one the same amount of time, so you guys are gonna go blank here pretty quick. Hey, just real quick, because you know all my GoPros died. You know, coming back to the truck. No big deal, just catching big large mouth, you know. <laughs> well guys, that's it for today. Kind of put like two days into one video. Hope you guys liked it. Today, SD cards were full. Kind of cut the day short, but the wind picked up anyways and pushed me off the water. But they said tomorrow is supposed to be a perfect day, no wind. So I'm gonna try to get back out of here for you guys. But like always, I appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh my God. Oh. 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 Yeah.